Good morning. My name is Comrade Reg Gamble, and it's my honor to act as your MC for this morning's ceremony, commemorating the sacrifices made by Canadian soldiers from our area, and indeed from all over Canada, who laid down their lives in past conflicts for our freedom. This is a particularly difficult day because, as you probably already recognize, Following government guidelines and dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, we have had to scale back uh, our service. Thank you for joining us today, not only here at the Cenotaph, but for those who are tuning uh, in on our virtual presentation as well, and for observing social distancing for wearing a mask. All of our music today, except for the pipes and drums and the bugle, is pre-recorded, so it is important that you join us and raise your voices in memory of those uh, that we honor here today, those who fought and died for our country. Ladies and gentlemen, O Canada. <laughs> I now invite uh, one of our two chaplains, uh, Father Paul Gadet, if you would come forward and uh, lead us in the Lord's Prayer. Let us together now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever and ever. Amen. And, uh, now I would invite uh, Comrade David Cormier, past District G commander, who will read the roll call for the Great War of, uh, of 1914 to 1918. Great attention. Hello, party. Harry Keller. Private Frank Abram, 44. Private Edward R. Aitken. 26. Sergeant Ernest Amaret, 24. Private William A. Berry, 26. Lance Corporal Louis C. Bolton, 22. Sergeant Frank S. Brown, 21. Gunner John L. Cleary, 20. Lieutenant Robert H. Cochran, 31. 
Private Thomas R. Collier, 20. Flight Lieutenant Joseph P. Corkery, 25. Private Roy Dickinson, 22. Private William Dyson, 41. Lance Corporal William Evoy, 25. Private George Fairburn, 24. Private William Fairburn, 25. Private Samuel Fisher, 23. Private William Forsyth, 31. Corporal Farquhar C. Fraser, 23. Private Archibald Gregg, 42. Private Frederick Haynes, 19. Private John Holland, 26. Sapper Edward Houston, 35. Sergeant Edward J. Houston, 33. Private Alex H. Illingworth, 21. Private James Joss, 29. Private Archibald Keene, 19. Flight Lieutenant James T. Kirkland, 19. Private Thomas Knight, 23. Private Thomas W. Lee, 28. Corporal John L. McDougall, 19. Private George E. McGregor, 24. Private James P. McGuire, 32. Private Harry McIntosh, 19. Private Alan McPhail, 34. Sergeant Peter J. Moore, 44. Private Robert Naismith, 29. Corporal Leslie Aurid, 23. Private Morley C. Parker, 46. Private Frederick J. Parkin, 21. Gunner Arthur C. Paul, 24. Lieutenant Edward A. P. Plunkett, 19. Lieutenant Alex G. Rosamond, 42. Private James Sinclair, 27. Private Arthur E. G. Stratford, 25. Private Samuel Sykes, 21. Private Robert Weeks, 25. Private Arthur White, 22. Samuel Weeks, 25. Private Roy Wilson, 21. Sergeant James Wright, 37. Lieutenant Archibald Wiley, 23. Now, the Reverend Mary Royal Duxac will now share the names of those who paid the ultimate uh, sacrifice in World War II. <laughs> Private Donald Bedore, 19. Sergeant Wallace Blakely, 20. Private Wilmer Camelon, 38. Sergeant Don Cameron, 28. Warrant Officer Frank Cavers, 26. Trooper Frederick Dalgety, 22. Pilot Officer Bert Duncan, 25. Major Frank Fisher, 35. Private Alex Goodall, 28. Abel Seaman William Hefferman, 30. Private Raymond Houston, 19. Staff Sergeant George Jackman, 21. Sergeant Russell James, 20. Leading Aircraftsman Joseph Lalonde, 32. Corporal Joseph F. Levine, 33. 
Flying Officer Carl Lee, 21. Flight Sergeant Edgar Lee, 43. Gunner James McIntosh, 24. Private Ke Kenneth Miller, 32. Private James Pye, 22. Rifleman Lloyd Reed, 27. Private Harold K. Schultz, 32. Rifleman Norman Smith, 23. Private Raymond Stanley, 22. Private William Stanley, 22. Sapper John McDougall Stewart, 28. Private Victor Stewart, 23. Private Harold Stokes, 31. As I mentioned, mentioned at the start of the program, the government has issued strong guidelines regarding how we conduct ourselves during this COVID pandemic. The Legion has put a great deal of time and effort into this day <clears throat> and still honor the government guidelines, as you can see. There are no marching troops. Our music is pre-recorded. Our color party has been paired back as our branch 240 pipe band has. But we still feel strongly that this day cannot, will not be stopped by some little bug that we cannot see. Our soldiers endured much more than that as they fought for our freedom, and we will not forget the sacrifice they made under any condition. As you can see, many of the wreaths offered by the residents of our community have been previously placed. However, we still uh, proceed with the, the present presentation of the very special wreaths that are, are customary and presented at this ceremony each year. The first of those wreaths, we begin by inviting Mrs. Elaine Medor, representing the Silver Cross Mothers of our community. Okay. <coughs> Representing the Government of Canada, the Honorable Alan Sheffield, retired Justice of the Superior Court of Ontario. Representing the province of Ontario, Deputy Mayor Ricky Minnelli and Councillor John Dalvey. From the town of Mississippi Mills, Her Worship, Mayor Crystal Lowry, and Deputy Mayor Ricky Minnelli.
On 7 of October of this year, an official communique was received by the surviving family of the, corp of, of the late Corporal George Herbert Lettingham. Corporal Lettingham was killed in action on 1 October 1918. He died serving his country, just shy of the end of the Great War. He was interred close to where he fell and was declared as unknown and missing in action. After an exhaustive and thorough search by the Directorate of the History and Heritage of the Canadian Government and the Canadian Armed Forces, it was determined without doubt that the grave of the unknown corporal of the Canadian Armed Forces, Cameron Highlanders, is that of Corporal George Herbert Lettingham. 43rd Battalion, Canadian Infantry, number 859287. Corporal Lettingham's name will be officially commemorated and his grave site properly marked in a ceremony to take place here at Branch 240, Royal Canadian Legion on Sunday, 14 November. The next wreath to be laid will be laid in remembrance of Corporal Lettingham by his surviving next of kin, who reside here in Almont. They are members of the McKay family, Pauline Ferdinand, Wayne McKay, and Ted McKay. I would be remiss in this office if I didn't acknowledge and thank the Canadian government and members of the Canadian Armed Forces for their relentless efforts to make certain none of our fallen are forgotten. After a century, we remember. To lay the wreath for the Canadian Armed Forces, Major General Retired Brian Stevenson and Master Warrant Officer Mike Williams. Forty second Field Regiment RCA, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel Monica Bobbitt, uh, with Bombardier Phil Pot and Sergeant Keenan. Second Service Battalion, Major McGinley, Master Warrant Officer McEwen.
Korean War veterans, Sergeant Retired Conan Cadman, and members of his family. UN peacekeepers, Comrade Andy Martell, Master Warrant Officer Mike Wiggins. NATO veterans, Color Sergeant Matt Carson, Sergeant at Arms Neil McLeod. Afghanistan. Lieutenant Colonel retired Kevin Buchanan, Master Warrant Officer Mike Wiggins. District G and, and Royal Canadian Legion Zone G6. Comrade Dave Cormier, past District uh, G Commander, and Comrade um, uh, Rob Mador, Zone G6 Commander. Almont Legion, I'm sorry, um, the uh, Royal Canadian Legion Branch 240 and Royal Canadian Legion Branch 240 Ladies Auxiliary, Comrade Denny O'Connell, First Vice President, and Ladies Auxiliary President Luann Warren. Representing the uh, Alma Legion Pipe Band, Pipe Sergeant Brandon Stewart and Piper Ian Slingeron.
Now we will have the playing of the last post played by Her Worship, Mayor Crystal Lowry. That will be followed by two minutes of silence. The silence will be broken by Pipe Sergeant Brandon Stewart of the Ranch 240 a Royal Canadian Legion Pipe Band playing the lament, followed by Her Worship, Mayor Lowry, and the playing of Rose.
Teleparty meeting. By the front, quick, fast. <laughs>